Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new knife from O Knife that I just received in the mail. Um, I actually saw them advertising this during the last sale and this was actually through the Obi site. So Obi is the partner site to Olight where they carry a lot of different camping gear and EDC tools and knives and stuff like that. And I saw them advertising this one and I wanted to go ahead and pick it up just because of the sheer size of it. Now you can't really tell from the packaging here, but this is a rather large size knife. And that is because it is primarily being marketed as a folding outdoor kitchen knife. So, um, you know, I, I don't think that I'm gonna be using it for that particular purpose, um, but uh, I, I just thought it looked really cool, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So this is the Sentry R1, as you guys can see by the bottom there. It does give you a little bit of information here on the packaging. It says that it's a Sandvik 14C28N steel blade. It's a G10 handle and it comes in at 5.27 ounces. So again, it is a rather large big boy, so you're gonna get a little bit of a heft to that. So looks really, really cool in the um, picture here. So let's go ahead and get into the knife and we'll take a look at it. So here is the knife to open up my knife. And this is obviously going to be kind of a first impression. Um, you know, as you guys can see, I am getting it out of the packaging here, so I haven't used it or anything like that but I wanted to show you guys how it all, how it does come packaged and basically what all comes inside the box here. So you can slide this out and then uh, you have this little tab that you lift up and underneath is the knife. Now, first things first, um, if you guys follow the channel or any other um, reviewers that, are, that have reviewed O knife or O light flashlights and stuff like that, you know that um, when they first came out, they all came with a coin, a couple of different colors, uh, different materials and stuff like that, but the coins are really cool. Now, um, from a certain time frame forward, majority of the knives have stopped coming with coins, and now what they do is they include a patch, and this is a patch that is exclusive to the knife. So this is, as you guys can see, it says Sentry R1 right there, and it's got a picture of the knife, and it's got this kind of camping scene in the background there. So that is really cool. I like patches. If you guys follow the channel, you know I love my patches, but I was really getting um, to like those coins that came with the, um, the knives themselves because um, if, you, uh, if you collect the knives and the coins kind of go along with it and stuff like that, the patches do too, but I kind of really like the knives. So, uh, but at least they still give you something, which is good. And then they do come in this um, sleeve here. Underneath there, you do have a um, like an instruction manual and a cleaning cloth. I know they don't take those out because I don't really use them. The sleeve here, obviously, because the knife is bigger, the sleeve itself is going to be a little bit bigger as well. So I tend to kind of throw away these because I have so many of them, but I think I'm going to keep this one because it is a little bit bigger. So you open it up, and then here is the knife. We will set it off to the side, and just to show you, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is the little pocket in there. That's where the coin would normally be at. Um, again, this one doesn't come with a coin because it did come with a patch, but I really wish they would bring back the coins. I, I don't know why they got rid of them. Maybe they were too expensive to make or whatnot, but um, I kind of prefer the coin. I already mentioned that. So go ahead and take a look at the knife here. And wow, this is big. <laughs> you know, um, again, you see, you read the measurements and you look at the pictures and stuff like that, but until you get it in hand, uh, you really cannot um, gauge the, the sheer size of this guy. So um, it is kind of light though, even though it still says it's 5.27 ounces, it feels very nice and light in the hand. So um, again, this is a G10 handle. Um, it, it is only available in the black color handle. I know um, Olay and Onife and Obai, um, uh, they you know tend to come out with uh, other handle colors and stuff like that, maybe blade colors and stuff like that. So hopefully this knife does well enough. They will, um, you know, maybe come out with it in a couple different handles. I think this this knife in a, like a green handle, maybe like OD green, will look really, really cool. Maybe even like a micarta handle. Obviously, you don't want micarta um, because it's porous and stuff like that. So if you're going to be using this for like food prep while you're camping and whatnot, um, that's not going to be the best material. But um, for other things, it, it's nice and grippy, which is nice. But um, it is polished G10, but it feels pretty nice in the hand. Now, you do have a mixture of some black hardware right at the bottom here. And then you do have a um, kind of silver hardware, or the pivot screw right there. And then you have a pivot, pivot collar around the pivot screw, which looks really nice. And it's kind of like this blue color right there. 
Um, as far as the pocket clip, you do get a fairly deep right clip, which is nice, especially for such a large knife. But again, if this is being marketed as a food prep knife, a folding um, camping knife, it doesn't really have to be that deep right. But if you did want to carry this outside of those settings, then you can go ahead and do that. And this is a branded pocket clip right there. So that's cool. It is um, tip up, right hand carry only. So you cannot um, flip the... Um, the pocket clip onto the left side here. So again, it is what it is. You do get a um, flow through design in the back here. So that is great because if you, do, if you do get any type of debris or food or anything like that, you can get to it, blow it out and stuff like that. You do have some stainless steel liners which are skeletonized. I was able to see them on this side here. No lanyard hole um, on this guy, but it is a fairly large knife um, as it is. So, um, you know, I don't think you need the lanyard hole. You do have a um, thumb hole opening right here, and then you gotta have a couple other holes right there. There's been some discussions as far as what the purpose for the holes are and stuff like that. I've seen some threads on Facebook that say maybe it's to measure like pasta size or pasta amount or something like that. I thought that was pretty funny, especially because, you know, you might be using this knife for food prep. Let's go ahead and deploy the blade using that thumb hole there. There it is. Take a look at that blade. That is a massive, massive blade. It looks really, really awesome. Again, uh, it's Sandvix 14C28N steel. So um, again, it's not the highest end steel, but for what you're gonna be using this knife for food prep and stuff like that, um, I think that's it's just as good as any. And then it's pretty easy to sharpen back up, which is um, which is good because you do wanna keep these uh, this knife um, nice and sharp if you're gonna be processing food with it. Now, uh, as far as the blade goes, this is, um, 4.61 inches as far as this blade goes. So it is really, really large. Um, again, perfect for any type of camping that you're gonna be doing, which is nice. And then you do have an overall length of 10.20 inches. So over 10 inches on this knife. As you guys can see, I have it here gripped all around. I get up my four fingers and I still have enough for maybe two to two and a half fingers um, right at the bottom there. So really, really large blade there. Now this is obviously um, edge type is a, it's a plain um, edge. And what this is what they're calling a modified sheep foot, all right? So you do have a little bit of an upsweep right here. Obviously it's a nice wide blade. So perfect for chopping, for cutting. You can choke up on the blade um, or you can choke back and, and chop and stuff like that. The, um, the, uh, the geometry that you have here definitely lends it. So if you're you know chopping down and stuff like that, the blade will come in contact before your fingers do. I don't know if you, you guys can see that there. So um, it makes it really good for that particular purpose, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, as far as the locking type, they're calling this a rail lock. So again, you do have it accessible on both sides locks up nice and tight, and then you can go ahead and um, disengage the lock and close that blade. Now, because the, I'm, I'm finding this now, because the blade is, or the handle is actually so big, when I go to disengage the lock, it, it is not as easy as um, other similar locking mechanisms with smaller size handles. So that's just something to keep in mind. That's something that I'm feeling right now. You know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable enough because usually like I'll rest my fingers on the pocket clip to be able to, you know, like maybe flick it close or something like that. With this one, because of the distance of where the pocket clip is to where the locking mechanism is, I am finding it a little bit more difficult to do it if I want to do it with, you know, my thumb and my um, index finger there. So um, if I use just my thumb to disengage it, um, it is a little easier, but it's not as easy to flick it close. So maybe, you know, it might break in and you might be able to do it a little bit easier. As far as on the blade, you do have the um, name of the knife itself, so the Sentry R1 right there. And then you have the blade seal, 14C28N on that side. And then you have your um, serial number for the blade uh, for this knife right there on the opposite side there. So looks really, really cool. Now this is a really, really cool looking knife. God, I'm so scared to close that on my fingers, but um, it's a really cool looking knife. Um, Again, it's a big knife. So if you're looking for something to kind of carry with you while you're going out camping and stuff like that, to do uh, more food prep, more campsite stuff with, um, I think this is gonna be really nice as a backup to maybe like a fixed blade or something like that. You know, your fixed blade or your hatchet or whatnot could be more of your 
uh, wood processing um, things, and then this can be more of your food processing. Um, and I think it'll it'll do a really good job at that particular role. So I wanted to go ahead and um, give you guys my first impressions on the Sentry R1 here from O Knife because I think it's uh it's really interesting that they've come up, they've come out with a lot of different EDC style knives and beefier knives and stuff like that. So something like this that. Um, has the ability to be carried on a regular basis, but also has the ability to be used for that kind of secondary or primary, depending on who you are, um, you know, uh, use, which is food prep or camping knife and stuff like that. And it's actually a very thin stock on this blade. You know, I would have thought that for the size of this, it would have been um, a little bit bigger. It's not so much a chopper like you would find on the more cleaver style blades. It's more of a slicer and you, you can chop, but you know, what you're going to be chopping is like vegetables and, and stuff like that. Um, maybe cutting up some meat, some fish or whatnot. Uh, this knife is going to do you really well because again, it kind of has those ergos of a kitchen knife that you would want to take out camping with you. So um, really, really cool that they were able to do that in this particular package. So there it is. Uh, just a quick first impressions uh, unboxing look at the new Sentry R1 from O-Knife. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.